Hello investors and welcome back to Just Randy Stocks. Let's take a look at Sensionics or ticker symbol SENS. For those of you that aren't familiar with this stock, this is looking for the FDA approval for their 180 day glucose monitoring system and this is to help with diabetes to detect and help people manage that disease. Now let's get straight into the technical charts because last time I covered this, I think it was about a week ago, I was talking about a buying opportunity if you want to get in on this play, I still felt like you had a few weeks. Now, of course, this could come out, this approval or denial or request for more information. The news could come out in the next few days, any day, right? So if the CEO of the company actually knew exactly when this information was going to come out, it would have been out in December, right? Now we're in January. People are probably even doing a poll on which month this information will come out. Is it going to come out in January, February? I still think it's coming out in January. I think it could be any day now. I do think there's some people exiting their position because of the CPI numbers tomorrow and the retracement of this has already hit the RSI indicator up here. It, it, it went across the 70 and now you're starting to see a little bit of a retracement here. So you can see these red candles after this green candlestick run. This is the 30 minute chart. And I believe that there's two lines that you want to pay attention to. And I drew these in red just to give you a sense of where I believe this is going to come back and retest potentially if the CPI numbers are not good. And I made these red on purpose because these aren't buy lines. These are lines to watch to see if it su gets support at that level or if it bounces off that. Now, of course, you want to look at this chart yourself tomorrow if you have the time to do that. 264, this is definitely still low. I would say even lower than that is going to be 253. Those are going to be the two levels that I will say that you want to see it find support. And what I mean by that is after it hits this level, it stays there. It, it starts to find support and go back up towards this 70 the, the or even the 50. So typically what you'll see is after it hits this RSI up here, it will start to retrace back down. And that will let you know. Now, of course, the RSI is a trend indicator. This shouldn't be used strictly as buying and selling. You probably will just mess up your whole trade. But if you go back and look at the charts, do they make sense? When this RSI indicator went up, did it retrace? Does it mirror? And in the 30-minute chart, I have found this to be pretty accurate. So you could see there is a retracement from it hitting. That's exactly what's happening here. And everyone is looking at the same charts. That's really important to understand. Now, if you go into the five-minute chart, if you've got the time to do that, you can see it sat up here for a while. So this is why I'm saying five-minute chart really doesn't help me, but you could go back and forth. Look how long it sat up here before it actually started to retrace. So the 30-minute chart's what I like to look at. So let's take a look at another thing uh, that I want. I want to show you this, the PMAs, right? So I was talking about in a previous video that there's no PDUFA date. This is a pre-market approval for a medical device. This isn't a drug. And I think that some people are getting confused with how this works. There's no specific date. There's a PMA process that they follow. And what I wanted to do is just show you exactly in 2020, the report on which date specifically items came out. And you could see everywhere from the, the second of the month all the way to the end of the month, the 28th. This could happen at any date or time. And if the CEO knew exactly when this was coming out, like I've said before, this would have happened in December, but we're in January. So let's take a look at the trading volume because this last week, 8 million is the average trading volume. And you can see it has well exceeded 8 million on an average trading volume. I expect that the numbers here on Yahoo Finance are going to be updated and you're going to see this probably sit around 11 million after the end of this week on an average trading volume. Now, if we scroll down, you can see we have had this type of volume historically in the past, but when we've really ran into some high volume on this trade, this was sitting between 144 million all the way to 220 million. So we are looking at those numbers when we get FDA approval. And I want to make sure 
If you don't know how to set a stop loss, I would strongly recommend it's not going to hurt your trade. If you put in a stop loss, I do recommend a stop loss at 240 just to make sure that you don't accidentally exit a position before this runs off. I don't see that happening, but you need to protect your money. You should protect your money. This is not financial advice. Please use this information to make your own decisions, but I do take pride in making sure that people don't chase stuff. But I guarantee you, I promise you people will be chasing this, chasing this at the high end trying to figure out what to do, uh, you know, if this and when this does get FDA approval. I believe it's going to get FDA approval. So those of you out there, you know already, if you've been watching this channel, you don't chase stuff when it's high. We get in early. We get in low. There's an opportunity again. I would not buy at this point. This is high right now. You can see that, but you will have an opportunity potentially uh, in the next coming, you know, days or maybe even tomorrow to re-enter. I do believe below 265 is a good entry price. Some of those, some of you that are watching these charts will be able to get in in this zone. I don't believe it goes too much further than 250 or 253. So we'll have to see. It's just too close for FDA approval for it to go much lower than that. Now there could be some macro or micro economic indicator that impacts this otherwise. Now the last scenario would be that everything is good, the CPI number is fine, and this starts to go to the right sideways and even up. This goes into the $3 area. This has been in the low range. If you zoom out, when in doubt, zoom out, you can see this has been sideways and is due to start going back up, in my opinion. I believe that this could find some momentum and go up towards the upside. I mean, this could go to 280 and find support. So that's the alternative to this going down. If that happens, then these support lines don't matter anymore and you're lucky to get this under $3 still. So that would be the extreme. You know, obviously I'm assuming that most of you are in this play, that you didn't exit out of your position up here and that, you know, you're not looking for an opportunity to add. I would be greedy. There's still time potentially and that's what you would count on if you're looking to add value and not looking to take any unnecessary risk. And that's why I've got this zone set. That's all I've got for you. The last thing I would say is if you want to support the channel, be sure to check out the description. There are ways of adding an additional account if you want to trade on Weeble. So that way you can get early access to stocks at 4 a.m. Or if you don't have a Robinhood account, might as well get those free stocks. Or if you want to support the channel, you can look at the Patreon. That's also in the description for the price of a coffee. You can support the channel. $5, not too bad. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you watching. And I will see you in the next video.